beautiful people welcome back welcome to my november favorites you guys i cannot believe that it is time for this video it feels so crazy um that we're like we're less than a month away from 2021 thank god bitch we can see her on the horizon come to me new year okay i'm very excited about this connection that we're building like this this little bridge that we're getting out of 2020 um uh, but i just i can't believe it because somehow 2020 has like drug on and on it's been so long but it's also like bam i just snap my fingers and all of a sudden it's the end of the year and i just feel so so conflicted on all, all my thoughts but yeah we're here we're gonna do obviously our favorites video and i'm gonna run through i have some makeup some skincare obviously we'll get into it and i'll tell you what i love and why and i'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a precursor first of all i have been testing some amazing amazing freaking makeup between last month and this month which actually hello i just got done testing this if you missed i think it was monday's video i'll link it up here um i just got done testing a bunch of new drugstore makeup again if you want to know what's on my face if you're just curious about a shade or something um, you can check down below. Everything will be listed. But if you're curious about the products, go check out the video because that will be linked up as well. But of course, per usual, before I get going too far into the video, before my little bunny rabbit brain just put it takes off into the woods, uh, I like to pause here at the start. I like to introduce myself. For anybody that might be new, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Um, again, welcome to the channel. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then, of course, if you haven't done so yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and go follow me over on Instagram. Um, everything is linked down below in the description box, but I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers on that platform. And I have been posting a ton of content. You guys know, or for those of you that do follow me, you can sound off in the comments. You can vouch for me, but I upload a ton of content over there. I like to do everything um, makeup related. We have like makeup inspo photos. We have IGTV videos, IG like little reels, makeup tutorials, little mini makeup reviews as well. And then also I like to get into the plus size side of things. So I do like a little bit of plus size fashion, a little bit of casual business, casual loungewear, you know, just kind of a mixture of all the things. And then, of course, there's the IG stories. And these are usually everybody's favorite part, the part where I hang out with you guys. We're in the office. We take walks. We unbox products. And uh, you guys kind of get to see the behind the scenes as far as what's coming on the channel. I ask you guys to take polls. And you, yeah, you guys just really, like, that's the interactive part, the part where you guys see me, the behind the scenes, the part where it's like Paige, her real life, um, IRL, as the kids would say, <laughs> IRL. And I, I hate myself. Moving on, okay, I want to get into these products. And we're going to start off with a product that needs little to no introduction. And that is the Chantikai blush. Okay. This is their shade Emotion. And I freaking love this blush, you guys. It is so, so beautiful. The color, actually, I did go ahead and swatch it. It's almost more of like a, like a nectarine peach. And I've talked about this one before. I've used it several, several times, even in the last couple of videos. And what I love about this is that the texture of this blush, the texture of Chantikai in general, is just so beautiful. And this one specifically is even a little extra special because not only it does the color and like the texture really melt in but it also has like this built-in kind of lilt um like lit from within kind of glow to it and it's not too much like no matter how much you build this up no matter how much you apply it never looks like the blush is like overdone like that that shimmer is never too intense it's always the perfect amount of glow the perfect amount of color and i just i feel like every time i go in with this my face looks so beautiful and so fresh and uh, i'm just i'm a big fan you can wear it on a lighter makeup day on a more intense makeup day and yeah, you're just, you're not going to go wrong with this. It's absolutely beautiful. And even the packaging is like super cute. It has like this denty kind of look to it. And I just, I love it, you guys. I freaking love Chantikai. And this blush is just, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about a highlighter, a little sneaky ass highlighter to be exact. And that is the Natasha Denona, the I Need a Nude Glow. Guys, I have no idea. Okay, like I have no idea how this like wiggled its way into my damn heart. But this highlighter is so, so beautiful. I will say with this one, because the shade is a little bit too dark for me, you can see it right there. Um, it's just a skosh too dark, so I do have to top it with another shade, like another, you know, something a little bit lighter on my skin tone. But what I love about this by itself is the texture, the way that it just truly, uh, like, becomes a part of your skin. Very similar to the Chantikai one, because the mill of this is so fine, like the consistency of it. And it seems to almost just, like, veil all over the place. Like, your cheeks look draped in this glowy gold goodness kind of thing. Glowy gold goodness. Damn, look at me with my alliteration. But I also love too with this that uh, it's not only just a beautiful like glowy kind of highlight but it is the kind of glowy that you can both build up and sheer down so if you want it to be a little less intense you have that option so next up we're going to talk about one of the best best damn trips to Walgreens my bitch ass has ever taken and that is to pick up this mascara the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect I actually picked this up like I want to say a couple of days after I filmed the last one my last favorites from October which I can link up here but uh yeah I, I tested 
tested it. I've been using it like day in, day out for about three or four weeks now, about, about a month. And this mascara has just proven itself time and time again. It builds beautifully on itself. It gives you volume. It gives you length. And it has such a beautiful like pitch black staying power on my lashes. I also love with this too that as I build it up and it becomes more full and more voluminous, it never makes my lashes look or feel any heavier or any cakier. And uh, it doesn't make them drop. Like they still say, like they stay up there, they're nice and perky and they're good, they're rich. And honestly, you guys, I have reached for this every single day. Like I'm talking day in, day out. This has been my go-to because it has so many properties about it. Like it's just, it seems so high end when you're using it that uh, I just, yeah, I, I can't recommend it anymore. Okay, so next up, we're gonna talk about some skincare. Bam, okay, this is an entire package that was sent to me from Dermalogica through Octoly. And essentially all that means is I didn't pay for it, but I'm still gonna give you like my honest, well, obviously my honest opinions, my honest, you know, thoughts, feedback, whatever. Um, but it was sent to me. So just to disclose that, but you guys, they sent me this over. First of all, can we talk about how Dermalogica, this was so freaking sweet. I thought in my head, okay, I thought I was getting just this one little serum. This is their Biolumin C serum. And I was excited at the thought of getting this. I was like, hell yes, I'm going to test this serum. It's going to be amazing because Dermalogica is a really great brand. Um, and then I opened the package and they sent me this entire day line. Like this is their day-to-day -day product line. And I <laughs> freaking squealed. I was over on Instagram and I just about had a heart attack um, when I was opening it up. So what I'm going to do is go through these. I'm not going to spend obviously a million years on each one because we'll be here for an hour. But I do want to start off with my thoughts on this because a lot of you guys in the comments here and over on Instagram have been asking me about my skincare. You told me, Paige, your skin looks brighter, more amazing. And I have been using this for the last like month-ish, I want to say. And this serum is absolutely beautiful. It says on the back that it is a high performance serum that works with your skin's own defenses to brighten and firm the skin. And this for me was actually an amazing day-to-day -day serum. I use it morning and night. I, I still am using it. I just used it not too long ago. I think what amazed me the most about this is that it was a serum or is a serum that I can use every single day, like morning, night, morning, night, day after day. And no matter when I put it on, it doesn't interfere with whatever I'm doing next. Like if I put my makeup on after this, it doesn't interfere with it. It doesn't make it weird or slippy or slidey. And I say this because in the past, I have used other like vitamin C serums and stuff like this. And I have had so many problems both with, you know, my makeup sloughing or looking weird or like makeup, like foundations literally not working with the serum I was testing. And I appreciate with this one that that just didn't happen, that it not only was effective as far as the skincare and making my skin look luminescent, just also didn't mess with everything else I had going on. So it was kind of like getting the best of both worlds. And from there we have their special cleansing gel. Now this is like a daily, you know, kind of cleanser, just like your daily face soap. And this one was shocking for me, okay, shocking. Because I have said this in so many videos that anytime I switch my cleanser, you know, I typically use um, my Innisfree, which is my more like anti-acne one. It's it's what really helps to control my, my face, my acne, my oils, so on and so forth. And so I was really, really hesitant going into this one just because I have a reaction to so many other soaps that I thought for sure I was going to break out and things were going to go like just all kinds of problematic. So you can imagine my elation, okay, when I, is that even a word? I don't know. But I was so excited, okay, when I started using this and I woke up day one, like I'm checking my skin, I'm getting up real close, no breakouts. Day two, no breakouts. You guys, I have used this cleanser day in and day out for the last month and it did not cause me any breakouts. I didn't have any problems. Yes, last week or the week before I did have a breakout, but that was, <laughs> that was hormones. Um, that was not the fault of anything in here because I've already been using all of this for several weeks at that point. But this is so impressive to me because this cleanser works so nice. It has very similar to the pre-cleanse, a nice light consistency on the skin. It's not too heavy. Next up, I'm going to tell you the other most surprising item in this box. This is the age recovery dynamics. I'm sorry. This is the dynamic skin recovery broad spectrum moisturizer with SPF 50. And this was unbelievably shocking to me because I, and I've bitched about this so many times on here. I've lost count, but how many times have I told you guys, I cannot use a moisturizer with an SPF. I can't do it. They never work for me. They either give me acne. They make my skin look bumpy. They don't sit under my makeup. I mean this after this, after this, and I always have problems. This is the first time I have ever used one and not had a problem. The first time I have been able to use one, very similar to the uh, the cleanser, by the way, I was very nervous <laughs> when I started this. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to break out. Oh my God. And I was all kinds of in my head about it. Like I even waited a couple of days between each of these products because I was so afraid that I was going to get a breakout like from, from one or all of them. And this works so well. And I've probably used about half of this as well. And um, it just, it works really well. Again, a morning, morning moisturizer. It's not overly um, like thick. It's not, I don't think that this would be like the, you know, oh, I'm super dry out kind of moisturizer. Like if you are having a drier skin moment, you're definitely 
definitely going to want to follow this up with something thicker, a little bit more, um, a little bit more hydrating to really press in. But as just like a nice standard day to day, not too thick, not too thin, not too hydrating, blah, 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 blah. This is a really, really nice moisturizer. So very impressed with that. And then they also sent over two other products. And this one I have used before. This is their daily micro exfoliant. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. It is a great micro exfoliant. It is a powder that you kind of dump it out onto your hands. You lather it with a little bit of water, rub it all over, and it just helps very lightly kind of cleanse and get the rest of the grit and the grime off of your face that, you know, regular cleansing tends to miss. The best part about this is that it is very, very gentle in terms of micro exfoliants. So if you're wanting something that will last you, by the way, this is going to last forever because you get this whole thing full and you use like, I mean, what, like a tisp, <laughs> a tisp at a time. And uh, it's just, it's a really, really great micro exfoliant. I've used it before in the past, before I even started my channel. And I had one forever because they really do work well. So I want to mention that. And then the final thing that they sent over, this is the Dermalogica, obviously, um, Stress Positive Eye Lift. It says on the back that this is a high performance eye treatment and mask to energize the skin, reduce the visible signs of stress. And uh, it helps to give you just like that nice, more youthful appearance under your eyes, basically. And uh, in using this, I have to say, guys, I I'm inclined to agree with it. I think that in using this for the past month, I have noticed that my under eyes, especially like right down here, right in the dead center, um, my under eyes don't look nearly as like dry or like, ugh, like, I, I, like what's, what's this? Like, ugh, like stress, stressed. Oh my God. It literally says it in the title. Uh, but it just, it doesn't look nearly as like exhausted as it usually does. Now I'm not going to say in terms of like fine lines and wrinkles that I noticed a huge difference because I didn't like, especially out here. But, um, I do think in terms of like the texture under my eyes, I have seen a huge difference. My concealer is setting better. My powders are laying flatter. And just overall, I feel like this whole area under my eyes looks so much more like refreshed and rejuvenated. I really don't have anything else to add, you guys. This entire kit, huge thank you again to Dermalogica for sending it over. Okay, so next up, we're gonna talk about this Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick, you guys. This foundation is so perplexing to me because I'm someone that has like, you know, combo leaning oily or oily skin, like right in that direction. So this foundation does get more oily on me throughout the day. Like she, she gets she gets real kind of shiny, okay? Um, so if you're on that side of the spectrum, definitely be mindful. But all of that is so easily outweighed by how gorgeous this is, how easy it applies, the press into the skin, like the, the way that it just sits on, the way that it sits on my face. Now there's a sense. I shouldn't have said it, but I did. I committed. Okay, you know what? It's out there. But this foundation, okay, it is so, so damn nice, you guys. I love it. I love the texture, the weight of it. Like it's just, it's so easy to use. And the only thing I would say, like as far as a corrective issue, because again, even with the shiny thing by the end of the day, that little bit of extra breakage, because of course, if it gets shinier, it does break up a little bit faster. Um, but the only thing I would say to that is that if you are on that side of the spectrum, be mindful, you know, take take mind in how you prep your skin. If you take powder um, or like, you know, take a powder with you so you can blot or touch up at the end of the day, which is what I did. And I don't mind because this foundation is just so quick. It's so easy. And I love reaching for it when I'm on the go. Or if I even am like trying to sit down and film a video, I did that like two weeks ago where I was sitting down and I was like, oh my God, I need to get ready. I got to film this video. I don't have a lot of time. And I literally sat down, put this on. I was ready in like a half hour. It was crazy fast. And it's just because this foundation, it blends out so seamlessly, so fast. The coverage builds beautifully and uh, it works really great too with like powders and concealers and stuff. All right. So next up, we're going to touch on these two eyeshadow palettes. Now these are both from LA girl. This is a part of their keep it playful line. And I did use these in a video testing, actually testing drugstore makeup. I'll link it up here. And uh, these eyeshadow palettes, you guys, they are so beautiful. I actually did order the third one. It actually just came in the mail. Um, but these palettes, they're so good. Like I, th I think these retail for like $7 if they're on sale, $9.99 maybe if they're not on sale. But these palettes are so so freaking beautiful. Like, I don't care which color story you want. If you want this more, you know, cool tone gray moment, or if you want this super warm kind of pumpkin vibe, um, they're both super beautiful. They blend amazing. These shades, by the way, can I just show you this metallic -y, like, oh, oh my God. Like, I'm sorry. One, one little dip in and I look like the damn Tin Man, okay? It is so, so gorgeous. Oh, this shade is everything. And every shade in here is also beautiful, but this one specifically, bitch. That is like a high-end shade right there. Also out of this one, this uh, center shade right here is the similar texture to that. And oh, oh my God. <gasps> you guys, look at how beautiful. Like for the price of this palette, you can't go wrong. The story is great. The ease of use is 100% there. And I have been reaching for those nonstop. I mean, you can even tell in some of these pans, there's like a little 
little dent in that you can't see it on camera. What are you saying, Paige? But uh, yeah, some of those even have a dent because I've used them so much, just like all over crease colors, all over the lid. Like they're just, they're so easy to work with. They blend like a dream and I highly recommend them, especially for the price. Okay, so next up we're gonna talk about this palette. This is the Naughty Palette from Huda Beauty and I freaking love this palette, you guys. It's pretty much an open and shut case with this one. I've talked about it. I actually used this in my, what was it? Three palettes, six looks, one review. I'll link it up here. When I was talking about it in that video, I was so impressed with this. Like the color story, the, how easy it is to use. Everything blends like a freaking dream. Now that being said, okay, does that mean that I love this measly chicken pock ass looking shade up here? No, okay, absolutely not. I think that this shade, she needs to go home. She needs to rest. But for the rest of the shades, okay, the rest of the options in here, this is where I live. Like th this is my beautiful berry neutral color story of my dreams. And I love the fact that it has such a nice mixture of shimmers. It has beautiful, like more intense shimmers, lighter ones. You can build them up. You can sheer them out. And for this palette, I just feel like every time I reach for it, I actually am almost inspired to want to try a different look, to want to do something different. And I just really, I really like it because again, it's easy, like day to day shades that you can kind of play around with a little bit to make something a little different, but still beautiful, still deep, still sultry. Okay. Now last up, we are going to talk about a palette that I have been loving <laughs> so much. And I've talked about it on here. I've talked about it on Instagram and that would be the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega. This is the Celestial Divinity Palette. And I know that I have talked about this. Okay. It has this duochrome right here, which by the way, I already swatched because I was just playing with it. And this palette, it is so, so beautiful. I love the fact that, well, actually I love, I think the thing about this palette that other people maybe don't love. And that is the fact that it only has three crease colors. And I, and I personally am okay with that. It has one here, here, and here. And with this palette too, I think it's amazing because you can literally use it every single day and get a completely different look just by changing that one all over lid color. And the thing about this palette is that everything works so beautifully. All the colors are super cohesive, whether it's the green with the purple, this orangey bronze with this purple, or, you know, however you want to mix and match it, it just, everything in here works so effortlessly. And the shades are beautiful. They're super rich. This green shade, by the way, like, oh my God, let me just like swatch a couple of them for you. <gasps> oh my God. They feel like freaking butter. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do this one too. Cause why not? Oh my God, you guys, I'm sorry. Are you kidding me with this? This payoff is everything. They melt. They're beautiful. They just like Ugh, they just, they, they, they swear to God, they just stick themselves to your damn eyes. You know what? I might even just have to go ahead and say it. Out of everything I've ever tried from Pat McGrath, I'm trying to like go through in my head here, but I think out of everything I've ever tried, I think this might be my favorite, favorite item because I love the colors. I love the differences, how it just has so many options in it. It's so easy to use. And I just love that you can really, like you can literally be 20 different damn people, okay? You can have so many different thoughts, opinions, emotions when you're using this palette. And no matter what, you're gonna be able to get it out. Like you're gonna be able to express it because for me, this palette, it isn't about the crease color. It isn't about that matte shade, okay? It is about that beauty, that pop, that in your face moment. And I feel like this palette gives it to me and it gives it to me every time and it gives it good, honey. And it gives it good. I feel like that was wrong. All right, so now at this point, now that I have ran through all of my month end favorites, I wanna hear from you down in the comments. Leave me all of your favorites. Um, um, whether it is makeup, skincare, hair care, whatever you have been loving, drop that in the comments as well as your thoughts and opinions on these. If you love them, if you've tried them, um, so on and so forth. I want to hear your thoughts on that as well. Of course, as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Um, everything will be linked down below. And of course, I would greatly appreciate it. And I think that that is everything, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching, for hanging with me through another month. Oh my God. I can't believe that soon we're going to be doing my, oh my God, we're going to be doing the year end favorites. I was going to say, I can't believe we're going to be doing December favorites, but much less my year end. Oh my God, you guys, my year end favorites. Oh, that is one of my favorites. I better get out a pen and a notebook, bitch, because I got some stuff to say. Oh my God. I'm so excited. You guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing, amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. So I definitely have a little bit of a butthole lip going on with this lipstick. Not going to lie. Don't know how noticeable it is. Noticeable. Noticeable. Okay. Okay, that was rude. Okay. <laughs> okay. And of course, as I said at the start of the... Okay, what is this? <laughs> oh.